There are a lot of reasons it can be frightening to go to a new operating system. Of the many fears, how will you get all your files and settings there easily and without a major catastrophe? I'm a big fan of Windows Easy Transfer. It's an application that comes with Windows 7 and walks you through transferring all your files, settings, favorites, and emails from one machine to the next. You can use it to transfer files from and to XP, Vista, and 7. In fact, it's so fast and simple that I can show you right now. I have taken the liberty of creating a new account in honor of one of our fine guests, oh. Mr. Chip Smith. Oh, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Even filled it with the kind of files that you, Chip, tend to keep. He also has a couple of website oh. favorites <laughs> bookmarks me, in his browser. <laughs> What? If you know Chip at all, you know that this is not as suggestive as it sounds. Thank you. No, Anyhow, no. Uh, let's pretend that this is Chip's old family computer. He got a new machine, so he wants to transfer all the files from his account to the other machine. Uh, of course, I could transfer more than one person's files or the whole desktop. But note that selecting one account at a time lets you split a computer. Uh, like if you're setting up a kids-only computer, you can transfer just the files in their accounts. That's great. It's yeah. pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> to launch Windows Easy Transfer, I just type into the search window, Easy Transfer. <laughs> I get a screen that tells me I'm in the right place. Next, I specify how I'm going to make the transfer. And because Chip's account is pretty small, I'm just going to move it with a USB drive. If I was doing a big transfer, I'd probably go ahead and buy a transfer cable. I can tell the computer that we're loading up from this computer, which is the old computer. Okay. Windows Easy Transfer goes through all the files. This can take a minute or two. And then I check Chip's username as the account I want to transfer. I'm not going to bother with a password, so I just enter save. I tell the computer where I want to save the files, name the file differently if I want to, and save again. You'll see the progress of the save, and then success. <laughs> Click next, and you're done. <laughs> so now I take my USB drive to the new computer. I type in easy transfer and get the same welcome screen and confirm that this is the new computer, the one I want to transfer Chip's files to. I confirm that I've saved the files from the old computer, then tell the new computer where the transfer files are. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I mark the files I want to move over and tell the computer to transfer. <laughs> I can even double check the files that made the transfer. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But perhaps the best test is this. I'll switch users and see if Chip's account is really there. Drum roll, please. Yep, there he is. Nice. <laughs> Fast, yeah. wasn't it? Absolutely. It's simple. Now, you may be asking yourself, what if the files I want to transfer are on an XP machine that doesn't have easy transfer? Mm -hmm. Not a problem. Okay. Start with the Windows 7 machine you're moving to, and the wizard will prompt you to cable the computers or save easy transfer to a USB drive to launch on the XP machine. Okay. Hey, uh, I'm going to stop talking now, but I'll leave the computer up in case you want to try clicking through some of the Windows Easy Transfer screens yourself. Uh, just type easy transfer into search to get started. Or maybe you just want to see exactly what kind of files Chip has under his account. Hey, what do you have there, Chip? I take no responsibility for what's on this computer. I, if whatever shows up, it's going to happen.